In the last video, you implemented a table view controller, but it displayed an empty cell. What would be nice is for the cell to show some text. Your challenge is to add a text label to the cell. Add a label to the cell, but leave the text blank for now. The bounds of the label should extend to the width of the cell with the padding on both sides, as you can see in the slide. Also note, you'll need to pin the label in the cell. That is, you'll need to set up the auto layout constraints. To do this, select the label, and once you have added the new cell, click the Add New Constraints button and add constraints to each edge using the standard value for the left and right margins. Now pause the video and give it a shot. Okay, how did your challenge go? Hopefully it wasn't too bad, but if you got stuck, I can walk you through it right now. So here you can see I have my main storyboard open and I have my table view controller selected. Now what I want to do is open up my object library and type in label. I'm going to take this label and drag it here. And then what I'm going to do is just drag it out over here like so. And I'm following the guidelines and so forth. Okay, so I have my label here in my cell. Now I want to pin it. So I'm going to click this button here that looks like a TIE fighter. It's called the add new constraints button. And I'm going to set the top constraint to be 11. We'll keep that to be the same. And for the left margin, I'll use the standard value. And for the right margin, I'll also use the standard value. And that's just Apple's way of saying eight points. So I'm going to add in these four constraints. And you can see this is the standard value here. And that's the standard value here. And my label is flush like so. And now let's build and run on the iPhone 10. Here, we'll get some space here. You can see my app starts and here's our cell. We have our label and we have our check mark. 